Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I have another reading for you, another inspirational message for you. How do the people in your past, how, how are they viewing you now? So let's get right into it. So if this is your first time, I welcome you. I hope this message will resonate with you. And as a result, you will subscribe and be a part of the tribe here. It would be great to have you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continuous love and your support. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you so very much for your donations. Thank you for the likes and your comments. I enjoy reading those and I am encouraged as well. Thank you so very much. So let's get into it. The people in your past, how... How do they view you? Oh, wow. Throne. Number 45. Throne. Your potential is endless. Oh, my goodness. That is a great way to start off this reading. So they're seeing you as someone, male or female, you're on your throne. You're, you're in your rightful place. It's like, again, now you know who you are. You know your worth, you have standards, you have boundaries. It's like everything is in its place. You know, it's like in, in you know, you're just embodying. You know, here we have, this is a mermaid. You know, this is a witch. And this looks like, you know, a queen. So you embody all of these people. It's like whatever you are. You're coming into who you are. You're not ashamed. So they may be looking at you as, you know, a mermaid. It's like they're just blown away by you. You know, it's like you're half human, half fish. Your ability to survive. You know, and here she's on dry land. So... It's like you're able to do the impossible. Like it says, your potential is endless. It's like you have so many gifts. It's like you wear so many hats. You know, the mermaid has like, you know, flowers around her head. The witch has the, the little cap or the hat on. And the queen you or king, you have your crown on. So it's like... People can't pin you down. They realize that now you're embodying who you really are. It's like you're authentic. You're on your throne. Nobody can push you around, bully you. Now you know who you are and you're sitting in your power. Wow, this is awesome. And as the witch, you know, with the fire in both hands, it's like... You're an alchemist. You're able to manifest, you know. So some look at you as, as a witch too. That's how people in your past, they're viewing some of you. Ooh, wow. This is like one, two, three, four cards fell out. I guess they have a lot to say. Universe. We're all just stardust. So again, people are viewing you as magical. When I see universe, I see God. People are seeing you as somebody who is in touch with the divine, with source. You are, you are humble in the sense that you don't believe that you're better than anybody because it says we're all just stardust. So you're living in your purpose. You're an empath. You know, you are here to do God's work for its stability, its foundation. A lot of you, it's your faith as well. People, they're looking at you. It's like people are seeing that you're not afraid to, it's like, give praise to the Most High God. People may even see you with your hands up, you know, showing gratitude as well. So people in the past, they see that there is a bond there with you and the divine. And even though you are this spiritual, magical being, you're still very humble. 
humble to your calling, humble to your purpose as well. And the other card that came out is tree, let them go. Wow. Yep. <laughs> the tree's on fire. So an eight plus one is nine and nine is also ending. So people in your past, the way they view you or they're viewing you now is that you let them go. You release them. A lot of them, they're sad. You see, you know, the, the, the girl there, she's sitting on the grass it seems sad it seemed lonely but you were able to release it's like you set that tree afire you know it could be like a family tree you know but you set it ablaze you let them go you release them you are not you know this could even be you being sad but you know that you had to do this you know it's kind of like you had the the funeral so you're able to let people go a lot of you you let you let a lot of people go raindrops take a chance on them so a lot of the people in your past they realize you see how this lady she's coming up with the umbrella she's providing shelter for this other lady so for a lot of you again with the the fairies you're just magical beings you're earth angels and they are realizing this now that you were, you provided that umbrella. When I see the umbrella, I see also home. You were very comfortable, very relaxing. You were always there to give an help, you know, to give a helping hand. You know, you, you share, you give to people. You were not selfish. And you took a chance on a lot of people. And I think you did because, again, you're an earth angel. So a lot of people may have prayed for a chance to meet somebody with a pure heart who is loving and all of this stuff because of all the bad experiences that they have had. And this is how you showed up in their life to shelter them from the rain, to protect them, to give them advice, you know, however, to pray for them, pray with them. That is how you showed up in a lot of people's life. And this is how a lot of people now, they're viewing you now that, you know, you're no longer in their life. Because again, it's like you had the funeral, you release, you let a lot of people go. And this says too that, you know, with the tree, like I said, these are people who were supposed to be in your life. You know, probably your family, people you consider to be close friends, and you realize you had to let these people go for one reason or another. So they're realizing that you 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 are really you are an angel. You are a blessing that showed up is like in the nick of time. You know, you showed up for these people. Yeah. It's like just when they needed you most. That's when you showed up. God provided you for a lot of these people. A spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. So a lot of you, again, the mermaid underneath the, the throne card. So a lot of you, again, you're a magical being. You know, you bedazzle people. They just don't understand. And, and a lot of people, it's now that you're gone that they are looking back and seeing the influence you have you know it's like they're looking back saying like it's almost as if they're puzzled you were in their life it's like they were in an in a whole new world you showed a lot of these people a whole new world because again it's like under the sea and then we have the rockets the moon you know it's like you were able to take these people to a magical place and they're seeing that, you know, now you're not afraid to sing. It's like you're living your best life. You, you are in your power. You're not afraid to stand up for who you are. You're comfortable in your own skin. This is, this is what I'm seeing here as well. And with the sun, oh my goodness, paint the sun back into your sky. So again, a lot of you, you have taken your power back another card of number 11 here you know so you may be seeing this number too so you're you're able to shine you gave to a lot of people 
and they abuse you they took you for granted so what people are seeing now a lot of them they may see you as being selfish because now you're painting the sun back into your sky you were painting for a lot of people they didn't appreciate you and they're also seeing how you're radiating you're glowing you're abundant you know <clears throat> again with the sun you're not dimming for anybody you're confident you're radiating you're glowing yeah voyage so a lot of you you already have all the answers yeah so for a lot of you you know you were you showed a lot of people you were the guide to a lot of people you showed a lot of people the way you gave them great advice good suggestions and this is how a lot of people they're viewing you maybe they're still viewing you this way as well if you're influencing them but a lot of you they also see that you're going on your own journey as well number seven you know this is god's numbers like you're on your mission you're in your purpose as well yeah this is beautiful wow wow protest start a revolution uh again 10 you're able to put an end in to people places and things that no longer serve you this is how people in your past are viewing you protests a lot of you spoke up or they're they're viewing you as somebody who speak up for people you defend those who cannot speak for themselves for a lot of you you had to protest you had to um go against the grain even with people in your life to again with the throne card in order for you to sit in your rightful place in order for you because a lot of people had you in one box and when i see that throne card with the three different personalities you know the king or queen you're a witch you're a mermaid and for each of them you're comfortable you're poised your confidence this says some people probably were trying to put you in a box and you're realizing no you're not meant to to dim your light you have different sides to you you have different gifts talents and abilities and so for a lot of you you had to speak up you know for some of you you know because again even with the religion with the faith here with the race you know so a lot of you you had to stand up for what you believe in whether this is your religious belief you know your personal beliefs but you were able to put an end to the limitations or the boundaries that people uh set for you and this card <laughs> um uh, the first letter i love to say if we switch it out the letter put witch on it but you know it's not witch it's a b word but I don't want to say because of, um, so it says, which fire stand up for yourself. So a lot of you, yes, people in your past, they're viewing you. And again, I see this all over, all over these cards where you're standing up for yourself. You're empowered. You have taken your power back. So a lot of you, you had to stand up for yourself to defend what you believe in what you think was right and just and best for you and so this is how people in the past is like they see that you're not afraid to to start you know to to start conflict if it means that you're willing to do that like i said because of the word i don't want to put this card out but um you know it's because i don't want to be flagged for it okay so how spirit how oh people in the past how are they viewing the collective god box yeah god box is that a lot of you you learn to put or cast your burdens on the divine it's like they see that you're not stressing anymore all your concerns all your desires you know it's like you said your prayer you cried the last tears with the let go it's like you had the funeral 
you know, you cried your last tears yesterday. You, you gave all your worries to the divine and so you let go and you're allowing the divine to help you. This is how a lot of these people in your past, they're viewing you at this time. Wow. Mm. You're a goddess, God goddess. So a lot of you are able to express your divine feminine energy. You're able to embrace your magical intuition and your nurturing qualities as well. So people in your past, they're seeing how intuitive. And again, like I said, a lot of these mermaids and theories and just stardust is just very magical. So it's, it's a lot of magic I see here. You know, and a lot of you, you are in your power. So this is how people are seeing you. You're embracing who you are. Yes, you are authentic to yourself. It's like you don't care what people think or what they're saying about you. You're living your best life. You're living your blessed life. Wow. Your third eye chakra. So a lot of you, you're able to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So again, your third eye is open, so you are able to see in the spirit realm, you know, so you don't see things only in the physical, but you're able to tap in in the spiritual as well. And I think for a lot of you in the past, you were able to share things with people and, you know, they thought you were weird, probably crazy. But again, now they're seeing how you're embracing all the different aspects, all the different sides of you with that throne card. You're on your throne. It's like, you know, people can't box you in because one minute you're wearing one hat, you know, the next minute you're wearing another hat. Yeah, workshops and seminars. So people in the past, they're seeing you again. You're on your path, your spiritual path, and in your purpose as well. And you're open to teaching and learning. And for a lot of you, you know, maybe you are doing workshops. You're probably doing seminars, but you're leading. And you're also, a, could be a spiritual leader as well. They're seeing you in your purpose. And again, you're teaching and some of you, you're open to learning as well. Some of you, they're seeing you that you're working with uh, and with crystals. So again, they're seeing you, you know, as this magical person, you know, um, you're in your power. Again, this is you being able to stand up for yourself, to walk in your power, to be true to yourself. Yeah, you were able to heal away addictions. So people in your past, they're seeing that certain behaviors that you had that, that and they were blocking your heart's desire or your heart chakra. It's no longer there because it's like you're healed now. You're, you're healed. So you're not toxic. You're not clingy. You're not codependent anymore. And so this is why to a lot of you are, were able to, or you're going through this now, but you're able to let go because you are not codependent anymore. You set ablaze anything, everything that no longer served you. Wow. If you get nervous, focus on service. So people are seeing, again, you're an earth angel, you're a healer, you're a light worker. So a lot of you, people are seeing that you're more focused on service, helping people. Maybe in the past you were nervous and then when you were nervous, that's when those addictions came in, but now you heal your addictions. So when you feel nervous, you're focused on giving to others, helping others, you know, to make the world a better place. This is how people in the past, they're viewing you. It's like now your life, it has purpose. And we see cards here as well that now you're in your purpose. So you're serving people. And yeah, you release. So you were willing or people are seeing that you work with the divine to let go of no longer of what no longer serves you or your purpose. You release those things. 
even them, you're willing to walk away from what no longer serve you. And the card at the back here, wow, it says manifestation power. And I did say that earlier as well. So that's just confirmation. So a lot of you people in your past, they're seeing you using, you use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. So again, you know, it doesn't mean that they're, they're happy seeing you in your power like this, but this is how they're viewing you. Also, you're a powerful light worker. I, I mentioned that earlier as well. So again, you're powerful and your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to, to the divine. So again, you're a light worker. Like I said, a lot of you, you showed up in people's life in the nick of time, you know, to save their day. And a lot of these people, they fumbled you, you know, but again, you know, it's, it's their loss. Yeah. You were able to cancel, clear and delete. So for a lot of you, you know, you use positive words and thoughts you know, to manifest what you want and you were able to let go of the past what no longer served you as well. Mm. Wow. That's beautiful. I love that for you. I love that for you. This is awesome. Okay. All right. Wow. Indigo. See, you're, 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 oh yes. The so yes, you're an indigo, meaning you're a highly sensitive, natural born leader. For some of you, you're like, you're a unicorn, you're unique, you don't fit in. People look at you as strange, you're different. It's like you just never fit in really. And I mean, back then people thought you were the problem, right? But it's because of the calling on your life. You didn't even know who you were. You just know you didn't fit in. Nobody liked you. I mean, look at it. It's a little boy right, riding his bike. And this is like the unicorn trying to ride his bike. And the little boy is looking at him like, what are you doing? You know, what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing that. You look awkward. You look weird. I'm telling you, you stood out. It's because you're a natural, you're a highly sensitive, natural born leader. You're an earth angel. You're a light worker. It's all over here. And this is why, like I said earlier, you were sent into people's life like an umbrella to shelter them from the rain, the storms of life that was wreaking havoc upon them. And a lot of these people, you know, they probably betrayed you and uh, you know they fumbled you and now they're they're realizing this wow people in your past some of them are saying do i still have a chance do they do they have a chance <laughs> look i need security absolutely i'm telling you with you with the umbrella a lot of you 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 were the security for a lot of these people, you help them out. You know, you were there for these people. And I'm telling you, yes, they're missing you. They're yearning for you because you clear, cancel, you block, you delete, you know, and you're not looking back. You're not looking back. Wow. You inspire me. You inspire me. This is awesome. You know, sometimes too, though, you know, if people can be inspired and then it can end up turning into jealousy, but hopefully they are inspired in a positive way where they will also bring changes to their life as well. Look, I want you so badly. I want you so badly. This is what the people in your past, you know, they're saying, yeah, a lot of them, you know, they fumbled you. And they, they didn't realize your the qualities. Look, you broke my heart. So this is why they still want it. You know, they're asking, do I still have a chance? You know, but they broke their own heart, right? Yeah. 
I can't reach out. They need security, but they can't reach out because a lot of you, you delete, you block these people so they can't come back. They can't call you or they're ashamed to reach out to you, but they need help. Wow, I did dream about a life with you. Mm. Under you and and it's you know under you inspire me. So a lot of these people in your past they are reminiscing. They're going back, you know, to the good old days. A lot of these people, I can't show that card, but they're having intimacy. They feel intimacy tension for for some of you as well. It says I want you so badly, and the card under that was. You know, they want you to do in an intimate way for some of you. Oh, I miss being with you. So a lot of these people, they're missing you. Yeah, and it's all because, you know, um, they, 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 they did you bad. A lot of them, they did, they did bad to you. So they can't call you. They can't come back and rightfully so. For some of them. You know, they're in a committed relationship or you are in a committed relationship. So they cannot come back. It's finished. It's over. It's done. Wow. Mm. Wow. Let's see. A few more cards. And that's it. I love this though. It's very nice. Positive. Mm. See, angels are protecting you. Yep. So a lot of these people, they're seeing that angels are protecting you. And the stone that the builder rejected became the main cornerstone. So yeah, a lot of them, they rejected you. And this is why now they're needed you. It's it's on, see, I need security. I can't reach out because they're ashamed. The stone they rejected. So a lot of them, again, we saw the card there with the unicorn, right? So for a lot of, with the indigo. For a lot of them, they were embarrassed to be with you, be around you because you were different. You look different. You know, they wanted other, you know, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And so now they're realizing that they made a mistake. And so a lot of these people look spying. They're watching, you know, whether it's a platform, you know, whatever craziness they're doing but they're watching and it's under you it, you know see you inspire me and they they dream about a life with you so they're watching some way somehow you're inspiring them and look i lied on your name character assassination so a lot of these people you know and it says i want you so badly i miss being with you it's because they lied on your name so therefore you know, you block them, you got rid of these people, and now they want you badly. Look, and the last card here, it says, fake friends, haters. So a lot of these people, this is why you, like Usher, you said, let it burn, right? So you, you walked away from these fake friends and haters. You realize who they were, and now, you know, they're missing you. You're inspiring them. They're daydreaming about you. They're seeing you as a money magnet as well. Maybe that's why they want to come back too, because they need security. Now they're left out in the cold. They're realizing the people who they left you for, they're not there for them the way that you did. So now they're missing you. Oh, well, <laughs> I love this for you. I love this for us. Thank you so very much. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you felt led to do so. I hope you are inspired and encouraged. You are doing wonderful and amazing things for yourself. God is for you. Who can be against you? You know, and that's the beauty about being an earth angel, being a chosen one, you know, is that you, you are an ambassador. So you show up, you touch people's life. Some people appreciate you, some don't. But at the end of the day, God has the final say. And in the end, they, like it says, they have to watch you. You know, they have to watch you. They they want to come back, but some of them, their own conscience, they can't because they did you and they treated you so badly. But God is for you because 
you handled yourself with dignity and i'm so so proud of you that you're sitting in your power you know your worth you don't care about what people are saying what they're doing you're just focused in your lane and you're working on yourself you're building your craft your you know your relationship with the divine is growing it's getting stronger and stronger every day you're evolving you're growing you're radiating and like we saw this the, the card there you are painting back the sun in your sky you know people didn't appreciate you now you're pouring that back into yourself you're watering yourself you're nurturing yourself and i'm so proud of you keep up the excellent ah oh, fabulous amazing job thank you until next time be blessed